greater than any fatality or fault line in the tragically aging lifetime and geography of life compounded by love. Those are your words of wisdom for today? Yes. Okay. Live from the Arc Muscle Studios in Westbury, New York, you're watching The Heavy Muscle Show with your host, Columbo. Featuring the Wack Pack, Jimmy the Bowl, the producer, Colleen B, Pat the Cat, and Johnny Style. Welcome back to another episode. We're here in the RX Muscle Studios in Westbury, New York. It is sometime in May. I'm not even sure. Colleen, do you know what the date is today? May 9th. May 9th, 2013. This is a very special show. I'm back from all my European and South American traveling. And uh, we got Jimmy the Bull in the studio tonight. And we have a very special segment, Ask Dave's Dad, or What Would Dave's Dad Say? That's going to be the segment we're going to do. I know a lot of you guys are very interested to see what my dad has to say. We showed you a little teaser a little earlier, I guess, before uh, the show started running, and a lot of people have interest in, in knowing my dad. Now, Jimmy, you've met my dad before. Yeah. So you you know he's a character. Yeah, I love your father. He's a cool guy. But I don't think you've cool. seen him recently since like he's been on all, you know, since his arthritis has gotten really bad, and he's on his Oxycontin and his, uh, his wine, you know. No, I haven't so, had the pleasure so he, of uh, being around him with that. Yeah, he's raised to a new level. Is he? Yes. I can imagine. Yes. And uh, we have a couple guests on the panel today. We have a great, uh, great, uh, I guess you could say, guest selection yeah you know they're I not superstars but they're superstars in the rx muscle heavy muscle tv land and one of them is my good friend larry usha who survived the jump off the verrazano bridge he's going to be back he said we'd be back to show us his new physique and he knows my dad very well so he's gonna we're gonna get some uh, input from him on my dad's uh, comments and of course we have uh daniel calabresi who's coming in also he's a uh, up-and-coming a bodybuilder in the industry, and he's got some... Did he jump off the bridge, though? He hasn't, not yet. Oh, okay. Now, you tell me you're going to jump off the bridge, though. Is that true? Well, I figured he, since he was here, I was going to get some uh, some you know pointers. You know? About how to do it the right way, you mean? Yeah. Well, he doesn't know how to do it the right way, obviously. <laughs> well, I figured I could learn from his mistakes. Uh, you know? I see. I planned on going tonight, maybe, to take the Bell Park. Yeah, you. yeah. We should do like yeah. a reenact the scene out of Saturday Night. Give it a shot. Fever. Yeah. You remember where they, they're on the, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge, I think they were on. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Well, you said you were in Brooklyn. Weren't you eating at some Brooklyn restaurants? Yeah, I was actually working in Staten Island. I was driving a, a truck for this different company uh, the other night, and uh, I almost quit. That's the first time I almost walked off a job. Now, why is that? Uh, the guy had no fucking signals. Uh, one of the tires was flat. Uh, On the truck you were driving? Yeah, it was all fucked How do you up, drive yeah. a truck that has a flat tire? Well, it's a 10-wheeler, so, you know. Oh, so you don't really need all the wheels? <laughs> well, you do, but, uh, you know, this one was very care. low. <laughs> yeah. Back in, it, was, it was pissing oil out of the bottom. I mean, uh, what else was wrong? How does that affect like, you uh, driving it, though? Oh, the mirror, the right mirror was loose, so it, it was, as I was driving, you know, trying to get on the Staten Island Expressway, right. uh, it, you know, I couldn't, you know. It was wobbly. It was wobbly, so yeah. it's not really a safe you thing. You sure you weren't the, drinking? Uh no, they they offered me some Jägermeister, but you turned them down. I turned it down. Yeah, it's it's very it was very dangerous where I was working. It was uh, you know coming off the dirt hills onto the Staten Island Express. So you're actually fucking U-turn to come back there you know, with a fucked up truck. So you're you're yeah. actually one of those guys that goes to those the smelly white, dumps. The fucking headlight was all wired on. Are you one of these uh, guys that like you know when you're going through Staten Island you smell that terrible disgusting smell? Yeah, it's it's disgusting over there. Was man. that where you were working? Yeah. Well, the whole the whole island is, is a dump. You know that, right? It is. Is yeah. that where you were you dumping so, stuff? Yeah, we were actually. They, we, I was working with the excavators. So they were digging and they were loading me, and then I had to go on the other side of the expressway and so dump. Exp hold on, explain to me what they do. They take the garbage and they dig a hole and they. Well, bury it's not really it. garbage now. It's like all, you know, it's all rotten down to like dirt. You know, so. Oh, it is. Yeah. So it looks, Does it degrade in the yeah, soil? Yeah, it's all yeah. So when they dig it, it stinks, and sometimes you see gases fucking shooting out and oh. shit. You know, bodies. And you carry this stuff in whatever. your truck? I don't talk. Yeah, I carry it in the truck. Yeah, it's just, it stinks, man. You so know? You, and it's even like discolored. Like so, where do you deliver it from? Where do you get like this? gray dirt? Where do you get it from? At. What the dirt? Yeah. Well, what they're doing is they were expanding the expressway, so they had a, they, they're making ramp off ramp. So oh. they had a, they were digging, and we were parked on the service road. They were moving the, the dirt. They yeah. were moving the dirt. Moving the dirt, right? Because they, they so they're right. moving the, the the landfill basically. They're moving the landfill into me, and then I'm dumping it on another site on the other side to another landfill. 
Do they? I mean, how does it ever? Does this stuff ever like become real soil again? It was taking like thousands so, of years. It, it, it looked. Uh, it it's even, doesn't even look the right color, no, you know, no, yeah. and it stinks, and it's yeah, you know, it's yeah. just. It, do you, do you I, had this, I had this that? big Irish guy get out of the fucking excavator, and he's because uh, I was standing, it was an early in the morning, and he's laughing at my truck, you know. So I said, it ain't my fucking truck, you know, it's it's the company's truck. Right. He goes, eh, that thing is not the roadworthy, you know, that piece of shit. I says, well, he goes, you probably don't have insurance or registration in the. I said. Let me look. I never, I really didn't look. You know, so I, went <laughs> my, I opened the glove compartment. Sure as shit. There's no registration. There's no right. sure as card. Yeah. The fucking headlights wired on. The fuck. There's no, there's no taillight lock. So your locks, truck looks right. as, as beaten up as you are. Yeah. So now I was, ba- I Basically. was embarrassed now. You know, yeah, I was embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. I was driving a beat up fucking fucked up truck. Everybody in the company's laughing at me. You know, because they gave me the worst fucking truck. I knew they were because yeah, I was yeah, an add-on yeah, at yeah, the yeah. end of this. You know, they said, they called me, Jimmy, can you work? I said, you're going to give me a fucked up truck, right? Because everybody runs in the morning and they get in their trucks, you know. So, so you're basically a broken down old man driving a broken yeah, down yeah, old yeah. truck. Yeah, windshield was all cracked, yeah. you know. The Did fucking it, heat was stuck on. Would you have felt more manly if you had a brand new truck? I, I don't know if I feel more manly, but I, I think I could, you know, do a better job. I, when you know, I think when, you, when you can't to... see and you're sweating the fucking death and your lights are all fucked yeah. up and when the I, tie is flat. When I think of you driving a truck, I think of the movie, the Stallone movie, Over the Top. Right, yeah. You know, when, where when he's, he's got, yeah, got yeah. the thing and he's practicing the arm yeah, wrestling yeah, yeah. in there. I can't even do it because my shoulder's so bad, but yeah. I, see, I see you working out in the truck almost, you know. I tell you, if I stay in the truck long enough, that's what I, w- I would set something like that up. Because yeah. you're in those trucks for hours, man. It sucks. Yeah. What man. do you do all day? I know you I watch like to porno. watch porn. I, didn't I know. That's what porn. I do. Yeah, I watch porno. <laughs> yeah. But how much porn can you what, watch? What really sucks is like when I'm watching porno and I, and I got a real good Woody going on, and then the fucking guy on the side tells me to get out of the truck. <laughs> uh, so then I got to tell him, I gotta tell him wait a minute. I says, hold on. you know. And he's like, hey, come here. You got to come out. Said, all right, hold on. Because you know, I got to wait for my shit to go down. But I can't go out there. How much porno horrible. can you watch though? It's gonna look fucking horrible. Me walking out of the truck with a oh huge fucking you know shit sticking Hold on, but how me. much porno could you possibly do? I actually, in the came day? my pants a little bit that one Did time. You? Yeah, that was terrible. That a little wet spot. And I wear my green fatigue pants, yeah. so I had a little, like a little wet spot over there. Do do all truck drivers do this? So I had to try to dry it. Do huh? all truck drivers do this? Yeah, a lot much? of guys. Yeah. Do, yeah. 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 So what do you do? Plug into the cigarette lighter so that you keep the phone charged? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, video kills the battery. Well, what kind of you know? As long as they're talking about porn. What kind of porn do you like? Because I, 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 you know, everyone has like their own fetishy porn. What well, gets you I'm up? I'm fucked up. I watch everything, you know. But what? Yeah, you must have something that you like though that works the best. Like if I had to say, I don't know. Look, I, you got ten I, minutes. What would you go to? What would be your go-to porn? Uh, probably a, a chick doing a horse. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Really? <laughs> you mean a horse doing oh, a chick? Oh, you mean a horse doing a chick? on, man. You know, you a horse doing a chick. I don't yeah. think you go the other. The way horse around. doing a chick. The chick yeah. doing a horse. Same, right. same right. fucking thing. Right. What kind of porn do you like, Colleen? What kind of? Uh, hardcore gangbang type oh, of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All I, holes. Uh, Pete, are you, in, are you into like like babysitter porn? What are you into? <laughs> why don't you? Why no? I don't know. Babysitter porn. Like, you know, the babysitter comes over and then, you, you know, she's like masturbating or something like that and you catch her and you come in the back door. And, I, I, I no. Don't care. What? Porn, porn is porn to me. I mean, I don't watch it. Yeah, but what's your go to? Everyone has their go to porn, you know? I like, uh, I like the high quality porn, you know, like. What, what's high quality porn? Like top porn. Nah, they, they're the worst, man. Yeah, they're the worst because they have to fake. You gotta go with the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you go with like Jamie, Jamie, whatever these other fucking. Uh, they, they, yeah, they don't do nothing, man, because they're they're they're, they're superstar porn, so they don't they don't really do that much. Johnny, you have a, a porn background. What's your favorite? It's like porn? watching Playboy. My porn background is pretty much big boobs and big asses. Yeah. So it's called big round asses and big freaking tetas. <laughs> uh, he only does the Spanish version. <laughs> exactly. Spanish. Um, it's 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 a new thing now that American people like. Uh, so it's not just big boob porn; it's big boob, big butt porn. Right, because nowadays the American white people are starting to catch on to bigger women instead mm-hmm. of like the old '90s skinny, skinny. type, yeah. big boobs and no ass. So now the porn is changing a little See? bit more, so it's a little gotcha. bit bigger women. So you know, it's 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 catching on now better than better than See? ever. You know, Jimmy. Better than ever. Jimmy, do you like a bigger woman? I just, just got to say, like, you know, when, when I open doors and then, like, everybody chimes in, yeah, yeah. I, I open them up. You see, it's like a... Well, I want to know... It's like a therapy session. Everyone has their own type now, of porn. Now, who knew that like? Johnny liked all that shit? I didn't ever know that. <laughs> Kareem, what kind of porn do you like? I like threesomes. Threesomes? Yes. Two guys and a girl or okay. two girls yeah. and a guy? Two girls and a guy. Oh, wow. That's all right. That's good. Jimmy, are you impressed with everyone's uh, I'm getting porn? Woody right now. The selections? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I do. I like it a lot, yeah. You really like the horse porn, though, right? Oh, that's the best, man. That's your go-to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think what kind of porn I like. Um, I like when the older woman seduces the younger girl. 
What is that called, Johnny? Older woman says the girl. When like an older, an old, like a forty-year-old woman seduces like the young eighteen-year-old girl. Oh, that's like the milf. Milf. No, but it's not because it's girl on girl. What would that be considered? An old lady fucking a young girl. No, there's got there's always a name for them all. Yeah. Yeah. What is it called, Johnny? The it's wolf called, and the cat. It, it's called a cougar and a young baby. Oh, all right. See, Johnny knows all the <laughs> a all cougar the, and a, the a cougar and a cub. He knows all the porn. Now, uh, let's change gears for a second from porn. Let's go to. How do we get a porn anyway? I don't even know because you told me you watch porn in the truck. Oh, right I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, now, do you watch free porn or do you pay for your porn? No, I watch free, man. I don't pay for what, What's shit. your favorite website to do that? I porn just hub. type in freeporn.com. That's it. No, man. you got it. You know you got a website. <laughs> you probably have it saved in your browser of your phone. No, I erase it every time. Man. <laughs> what, like, because you get people watching well, your phone? I, you know, sometimes my kid grabs my phone. Yeah. Goes, I don't want this shit. What do you to pop use? Up. Like, you porn? What? Yeah, YouTube porn. Was that? YouTube porn. John, Johnny, what's yeah, the most famous? That's it. Pornhub. What's the most famous porn site? A lot of people sites? that I know use xvideos.com. Mm-hmm. Another, you know, Pornhub. Just like a What's like the grossest one out there? Because that's what Jimmy wants. It's usually you go to xvideos and you type everything. It'll happen. You can go to styleproject.com. Yeah, but you know, you got to be careful with porn. And I'm going to tell our view- list viewers out there because – if you just type in like free porn, you get a lot of viruses on your on your computer. You yeah, know? probably. Yeah. And I so I stay away from the porn sites now because I'm I'm so paranoid about getting viruses on the computer. You got to imagine yeah. that even on a fucking video you get fucking right. venereal you disease. Have to get- <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're you gotta have protection. You gotta have protection, Jimmy. Even with what are you gotta do? Stretch a condom over your head? That's right. <laughs> now, there's gotta be some go-to porn sites where you know where you know you're not gonna get like the uh, the, the viruses, Johnny. That's why I like to say, you know, you porn is out there. Right? They have X hamster or something like you that. You use that bacteria cream when you're touching the phone. <laughs> the phone. <laughs> you should get a VR Jimmy, virus when Jimmy, you watch through the back from the. Remember the old uh, uh, what was it called when the girls used to call the women up and they uh, sex porn? What is it called? Voice uh, phone. Yeah, phone the 900 numbers. Yeah, did you used to do that? Oh, yeah. That's the best. <laughs> That's, I would do that late at night, like really? when I can't sleep. Yeah, I would yeah. do that, yeah. Do they still have those? I I don't know. I haven't seen them. Yeah. They're around. Pete, Pete, you call that? Them. You call those? No, I don't call He them. doesn't call them. Right? That's why Pete's never around. That's right. He's too busy calling phone sex lines. <laughs> don't don't listen to this guy. He's 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 deep into some shit, this yeah. guy. <laughs> you think we he is? Know. Yeah, yeah, he's one of those guys, man. He goes to those peep shows and shit. You think so? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Goes behind the curtain. Is he into like that, like the violent, you yeah, know, porn exactly. thing? Yeah, exactly. He probably wears, puts his leathers on. He goes in the fuck behind the curtain. <laughs> and he's there for hours. <laughs> with the fucking doors, you know, the things that go up and down with the broad. <laughs> I know, I know. Right? I know. As a matter of fact, I think I've seen your car with, with Comac. <laughs> off Comac Road by the expressway. They got that peep show over there. I think I've seen his car there a couple when times. When I used to work with Jimmy at Metrex back in the 90s, he would be like, at the booth, he'd be cursing people, these perverted perverts and you hated all the porn and strippers and stuff like that probably because you were mad at your ex-wife and then you you drink a few drinks yeah. at night and the, and you'd completely change it too yeah you were you were like where are we going to the strip club yeah let's go this one let's go here let's go there yeah it's bad I'm bad yeah. well let's get off porn for a minute I want to talk about my, uh, my house now Jimmy you a lot of people know that my house got uh, flooded from the hurricane Sandy yeah. last year I'm still just putting the final touches on everything I'm waiting for my air conditioning units to come you uh, did a lot of painting. How's your and pond? You got your pond back together? The pond is, is, is on its... It's, it's, it's a work in way. progress. It's a work in progress. All the fish are gone the, from the pond, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because freshwater fish don't do well in the salt water when there's... When well, they got washed feet. out, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah they, they got way, way out. That sucks, huh? Imagine being a fish in your little pond. Little Especially sudden, when you're not a saltwater fish. Fucking yeah. canal overflows and <laughs> now you're in a... That sucks. Yeah, you're dead pretty much. Yeah. Anyway, um, you fixed up a lot of parts of my house. And I came home the yeah. other day, and I was in the the, the uh, foyer of my house, which was just freshly painted. Downstairs? Was, downstairs. And I, and I noticed there was a nick in the wall. And I said to Johnny, I said, hey, Johnny, you got to be careful. There's a lot of nicks these. in your wall. Well, it was just redone, so it didn't really have any nicks in the wall. And now I see a nick in the wall, and I'm like, you know what? We've been bringing a lot of luggage in because I've yeah. been traveling a lot. I'm like, John, you got to watch these walls. Meanwhile, I feel guilty because I can't carry my own luggage in because my knee is all bad. So Johnny brings the luggage in. I'm like, you got to watch the walls because you're going to nick up the walls. So I, I kind of yelled at him it's a little bit. very easily you could do that. Right, yeah. But he's usually very careful. So next thing I know, I come down last night, and I see my cat. Jay, I have the cat, the new Persian cat, is ripping the wall apart. Really? Yeah, the cat's been doing it. <laughs> She's been pulling parts of the... I, have you ever heard of a cat tearing apart the... Do you the, know, does she get a scratch call for, uh, spool for that bastard? They don't use... You know they don't use that stuff. Yeah. Now, Creed, you, know, you I gotta, told I, me... I have, to, I have to confess. When what? I was at your house, the, yeah. I uh, I don't know what I was doing, but Were I... Were you scratching I, my furniture? Oh, I was bringing the wood up. Oh. So I opened the front door, and I was by myself. So I was lugging the wood up, putting yeah. it you know, by the front of the TV there. Right. 
And then I went down, got another bundle, came up, put another, you know, and I, I, I don't know how many bundles it was, but I yeah. bring them all up, right? You know? And all of a sudden, I don't see the dogs and the cat, and I'm like, fuck, the front door's open, right? I said, oh, shit, oh, no. fucking Dave's going to kill me, right? <laughs> so I run downstairs, and the cat is, like, right there. Oh, know? by the door? Yeah, so I close the door, you know, yeah. and then I said, how many fucking dogs has he got? Shit. I run upstairs, and, I'm, and then I see a couple of them. I go, one, two, uh, uh, three. I said, where's the little one? Where's the, where is he? You know, and then he was hiding in that basket. You know, I couldn't even bad, see him. Yeah. So I, I'm looking around, and I said, I saw oh, there he is. Like, Jesus Christ, all the dogs are hit that guy. Well, the dogs can't get down the steps. It would have been the cat. I know, but I just problem. got, I got, I, I didn't. Fear. You went in fear. Yeah, because I was like, that's all I did. All those dogs fucking <laughs> ran down a block. And, uh, now, the Kare- fucking cat is the leader. Kareen was the one who talked me into not getting the cat declawed. She said she's going to clip the cat's claws for me. It's not working. And, uh, no, I, I didn't. She hasn't. She's been neglecting her uh, uh. clipping duties, I think. It's, the yeah, cat has decided my wall is its new scratching post now. Yeah. Oh, you got to get it with the yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have to do something about it. must that. be something on the wall, you know, that you scratch. I don't know. I think she just likes ripping my walls apart, but it's kind of annoying. The Every wall, time I redo my house, I got to get it In the hall? The, in the, the first the hallway? The foyer hallway, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, um, I don't know if anyone's seen in the news. Kobe Bryant has uh, been having a problem with his mother. She's been selling off all his, like, Paraphernalia that he he I earned I guess as a kid right. you know, like high school trophies and and and, and he's selling it off or she's no selling she's it? selling it off oh, okay you know it's kind of like you know when you leave your house you got your old bedroom yeah right and your mom's got all the stuff she's hanging selling all the shit she's selling all the shit <laughs> she's selling all the shit now do you think it's it I think she somehow she got four hundred and fifty thousand dollar advance on all this stuff wow and he's trying to stop her now if your mom was selling off your stuff right you, you would think that the mother your mom would ask your permission right well maybe she need, maybe he ain't giving her any money. I think he gives her plenty of money. So what's she selling this stuff for? I don't know. I don't <laughs> you know, know, if he's giving her money, then she won't have to sell the stuff, right? I don't know. You know, but who knows? You know, they, they, but it seems a little suspicious. She probably asked him for some money. He said no, and then she said, "All right, no problem." I sell all this shit. Well, my dad wants to throw my shit out, so I evidently, I guess, I'm not as valuable as Kobe Bryant. My dad's got all my shit back. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, th- if, I'm figuring if Kobe's worth four fifty, I must be worth a couple grand at least, right? Yeah, fifteen hundred maybe. <laughs> so you should tell my dad that he won't stop throwing my stuff out all the time. You know, because it's it's like, what do you do? I'll with your buy high some of your stuff? swords. What do you what do you do with your high school stuff? I mean, what are you gonna do with it? You know, where do you put it? I got no I room to put that. anything. I want to throw everything out. To, to, to Why you still got your high school shit? My dad has it in my in my bedroom in, yeah. in the house that my aunt now lives in. It looks like uh, you don't want to part with it, right? Well, I don't care. I don't. I don't. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. But uh, I don't know. My dad probably doesn't want to part with it. I don't know. Who knows? Speaking of my dad, you know, we got this – I came up with this idea because everyone always wants to know more about my dad. So I said, you know what? Let me go to his house. I, I, so I, I went to his house and I said – I gave him this idea. I said, Dad, I have this idea. I want to come to your house with a camera and videotape you telling us about, I guess, you know, uh, answering questions, so to speak. I'm going to give you questions about me, about life, about what you like. And I want to see if the people in, on my panel on the Heavy Muscle TV show right. can guess what you would answer. He right away, you know, Italians resistant, you know, resistance because yeah. I'm stressing him out, you know, right off the bat. No, 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 you're gonna make me look like an idiot. No, no, no. I said, Dad, you, he's for 25 years he's been telling me I got to get him on camera. The one time I got him on camera, he was he dressed up as Marlon Brando in The Godfather. Yeah. He got the tuxedo on. He had like a, a cat, one of my cats he was holding, and he did the whole scene. Really? And I video, this is when video cameras first came out. I videotaped the whole thing, and he really looked like, like Marlon Brando. The audio didn't take. Oh. Because you know, no, we didn't know anything about that. So he's been hawking me for 20 years to redo this thing. I finally come to him with this idea to film him, and he's like, no, 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 no. So finally, the, the, the next day I called him up. I said, you sure you don't want to do this? He's like, well, what, what is it going to entail? I said, look. <laughs> It's going to take a half hour. We're just going to come over with the video camera, and right. we're going to ask you some questions. So he said, all right, come over. So now I know that something's up. Because Was he going to do the uh, Marlon Brando no, thing? He, oh, no, he doesn't remember. We're lucky. I'm lucky if I can get him to remember his name at this point. So I go over there with the video camera, and he's all prepared. His hair slicked back. He's got his, his jacket. He got ready. Yeah, he was preparing the whole yeah. day. Probably since yesterday, the day before, he's been preparing for this thing. So you guys are going to get to see after the commercial break. We're going to come back. We're going to have a little game of what Dave's dad would say. And we're going to see who knows my dad or who can anticipate what my dad would say the best. 
uh, of anyone. So what did you do? You asked them the questions? I asked them questions. I'm going to ask you the questions, and what we're going to do is we're going to play the actual videotape of him giving the answer. Okay. So people on, uh, will be able to see this live, my dad answering the questions, and we'll see who actually knows my dad the best. This so, is after he got all slicked up and dressed he up. He was all dressed up, and, he's all ju- and he was oxycontined <laughs> up because of his oh. arthritis. He had a several glasses of wine. Oh, that's the best. He pro- I, I think he might have even smoked a little marijuana, so it's going to be good. I promise you that. Don't go away. We'll be back in two minutes. Should 